Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scribe Me Quick Designs, and I have a question that I'm answering from one of my Scrapbook Club members uh, because I provide design space files to them all ready for them to put on a piece of paper and cut the images out, and then we put the layouts together. So I've already designed the layouts. So they get an individual um, file for each of the different colors of paper that they're using in the class from my Close to My Heart um, shop projects. And so this is what's going to happen. Uh, when they open up that file, I have already grouped and attached those images so that all you have to do is put your paper down on your Cricut mat and hit go and it's going to cut everything out on that same piece of paper okay so it's not going to be all over the place so to be able to change this the question that my um, club member had was what if she doesn't have the same font that I used and she would like to change it to a different font so let me show you how you would do that so here you have this is um, one of the pages from my uh, October Scrubbook Club and it has the word this on here. Now I use the Varsity, uh, Cricut's Varsity font for this and um, this person doesn't own that font so she would like to change it to a different one. That'll be easy enough. But as you can see here when I click on this box it's all highlighted and over here in the layers panel it lets you know that it's attached. So to change it you would need to hit detached Okay, and now each of these are individual pieces. I'm just clicking on them. You can see that. And then we have the word this. So I'm going to come over here to my edit panel and I want to make note of how tall and how wide um, this particular image is. So it is 3.77 width and it is 1.44 in height. Okay, and that's going to be important because I'm going to need to change this to a different font. So I'm going to remove the word this, okay, and then I'm going to go in and I need to add text, okay, because in the layers panel it's not letting me change that to a different font right now, okay. So I'm going to come over here to the word to add text and I'm going to type in the word this, Okay, and now in my edit panel, I'm able to select a different font. So let's say I just wanted it to be the Cricut Alphabet because that's free and everybody has that. Then all I would need to do is go down here to where it says size and I'm going to unlock this so I can change the proportions to the, exactly what I wanted. So it was 3.77 inches wide and the height is 1.44. I wrote it down so I didn't forget. Okay, and then I'm going to put that lock back on just so it doesn't slide around. And then this image can now go back up here for my cut file. And I am going to come over here to my layer panel and I'm going to change it to white just so it doesn't get confused when it goes to cut. And you'll see it's, um, oh, hold on a minute, let me make sure I, ch I put that in correctly. Okay, that particular image, the this, sorry, I don't want to confuse anybody. The this says it's 377 and it's 1.44 in height, okay? That is showing it using the Varsity um, font. Depending upon your font, it may or may not be exactly the same. Even though we have gone into, this is the Cricut alphabet, it is 3.77 by 1.44, which is what the, this in the varsity font says. But when you go to put it over it, basically you'll see that it's not quite as tall as the varsity font. And I know that in my design, I want this to be that height because it needs to be to fill in the space. So I would just unclick the lock and then I'm just going to pull that down till it reaches about the dimension that's going to look like it's going to match pretty close to the font that I'm replacing. Okay, so now it's uh, almost identical. It's just a different font. I can go stick it back over here 
into my file. I'm going to delete the this that was incorrect. And then I would want to go back and grab all of the images for that particular file. Go over to my Layers panel. I'm going to hit Attached again. So now all of this, when I hit the Go button, is all going to go onto one mat and everything will be cut out at the same time. So that's how you change it. I just figured some of y'all might want to know, so I offered to do a video on it. I hope you found this helpful. And um, I offer a monthly scrapbook club. Uh, we make seven double page layouts each month using supplies from my Close to My Heart shop, and I create all the design space files for you. So all you have to do is buy the supplies, use the design space file and cut all the pieces out, and then you watch me in a live video put the layouts together and you have seven double page layouts done in one month. So um, if you want to join us doing that, you can go over to scrapmequickdesigns.com and there is a scrapbook club um, button at the top of the page and you click on that and it tells you all the information and what to do to jump in and join us. All right. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.